number 20. Let's see. Colin, go ahead and read number 20, please. The radius of the sphere is 20 or 21? 20. At a rate of 3 inches per hour, at what rate is the surface area increasing when the volume of the sphere is 36 to 50 inches? So let's start by writing out Fuigi on the side. It's roughly one second. One. One. Done. All right. What are we looking for? Find the what? Area. So instead of writing out a, writing out a, S A, I'm going to write out D A over D T. But whatever variable you use, be consistent with that. And then it says the when. Which one gives us a when something? Volume of the sphere is 36 pi inches cubed. 36 pi inches cubed. Is there a given rate? The given rate? And that is the dr over dt was 3 inches per hour. And then the equation, it looks like I gave you two equations. Let's just write those two out. Sometimes we might derive both of them, maybe one to find the radius. We'll see. I think they're having a party next door. All right. So I think it's safe to say I can get rid of this one. So here we go. Okay, let's see what information is actually going to help us. Given the volume and also given the volume formula, could I find the radius? Yeah? yeah, let's plug it in. So we know our volume is going to be 36 pi. So we have 4 third pi r cubed. The pieces that I could take off is the pi on both sides. To get rid of 4 third, could I multiply by the reciprocal? So I'm not going to rewrite this, just keep it as it is. We have 3 over 4. 3 over 4 on the right side, everyone cancels or reduces. So we have R cubed. So again, I'm going to repeat myself as to what I said last week. The top number means multiply. The bottom number means to divide. Since I want to get make the number smaller and smaller, what is 36 divided by 4? I mean, nine. Nine. <laughs> 9 times 3. 27. Now when I cube root this on both sides, what is my radius? 3. three. So we know our radius is 3. So let, now let's go ahead and find the derivative of the surface area. I'm going to write out area is equal to 4 pi r squared derived with respect to t. What's the derivative of a? dA over dt? <laughs> What's the derivative of 4 pi r squared? 8 pi r. And we have dr over dt. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, I know we're still ahead. Mm -hmm. Why did we multiply by 4 over 3? I mean, 3 fourths by the reciprocal? To, to cancel out the fraction of 4 thirds. Yes. Uh huh. And I was solving for r, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay? Mm hmm. And the good thing about this problem, again, just like the one that we did on 2.6c, it's already by itself, right? So let's plug in what we know. We have dA over dt. We know 8. We know pi. What do we know about the radius now? It is 3. What about the rate of the radius with respect to t? It's also 3. So let's do our mental math real quick. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 times 8 is how many? 72. 72 pi. And we're looking at area, so inches squared per hour. Now, if on your test I ask you to find the decimal, then you would multiply it out. If I don't, leave it in terms of pi. All right? The next one was number 21. Was that right? All right. Oh, where did my paper go? Everyone good on this one? I'm going to cover it up. Oops. All right. All right, Taylor, let's read number 21. Height of water in an inverted 
conical tank is draining at 1.5 meters per hour. The tank is six meters across and five meters deep when full. When the water is three meters deep, at what rate is the volume of water in the tank changing? Is this basically almost the same problem, but different number as the second problem that we did a while ago? Okay, let's go ahead and write off Fuigi real quick. We'll, do, we'll draw the cone in a little bit, but let's find out our um, variable so I can get rid of this paper. What are we looking for? The rate of the volume. Is it gaining more volume or losing volume? Gaining or losing? Losing, so our anticipation is my answer better be negative at the very end. Just a way to check, okay? Now, any information on when? It says when the water is three meters deep. And we're looking at a cone that has a height of three meters. If you want to draw the Im image first, go for it, but I will write after this. Is there a given rate? And that was the height. So let's write out dH over dT. And it says it is draining. The word draining is going to allow us to put what? Negative in the front negative. So those words, I'm not going to already write negative for you. It's going to be double negative then. Okay, so look look for the keyword on your test. And then our equation, it is a cone. So I believe it's the same equation as the one that we did. So our volume is one third. What was the circle area of a circle? Pi r squared times h. All right, so moving that over so we can draw everything about it. So let's go ahead and make our cone real quick. So just so we have our two triangles like we did on 2.60. So I have, let's do big one and then the little one. And it's draining, so the water, um, the volume of the water is gonna be the little one. And I'm gonna be consistent with the previous one, R and H. What is the radius given to us? The diameter was something, so the radius must be three. three. How tall is a cone, the altitude or the height? Three. Is that what it said on there? Five. So that's five. Where? Oh. That's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and write out our um, proportion. We have three over five is equal to R over H. I want to solve for R again. If you want to solve for H, go for it. So we have R, 5, R is equal to 3H. So that means R alone is 3 over 5, H. So let's plug it into the formula that we had. Our volume was 1 third pi. The radius is 3 fifth H squared H. So let's do our mental math. What is three squared? Nine. What is five squared? 25. And then we're gonna have H squared times H. We'll simplify that in the end. Okay, we have nine and three. When I divide them, what do I get? Three. The 25 I'm not messing with, pi H cubed. So let's write that on the side up here. Just writing too big over here. Oh well. Let's find the derivative with respect to t. So what's going to be the derivative of the v? dv over dt. Now when I take my coefficient and my exponent, we can't really cancel much, right? But we will have how many over 25? Nine. And then pi h squared dh over dt. Let's see what things are given to us for us to plug in. It says the height is 3, which is great. It says our dh over dt is negative 1.5. Let's plug it in. And I'm not doing that. In my head, I got some ugly dust in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do this in terms of pi just because. So let's do, so make sure I'm not typing in something crazy. 3 squared is 9, 
and then times one point, ooh, negative 1.5. All right, did I mess up anywhere? 9 over 25, 9, negative 1.5. So you can write out dv over dt. And I'm going to go with both of them. Negative 4.86 pi. And what was our units on this one? Meters cubed per hour. And if you're like, well, I didn't know it could be decimal and you want to make it into a fraction, you can write negative 243 over 50 pi meters cubed per hour. And again, if I say three decimal places, that is understood to multiply out the pi. Are we all set on this one?